hello guys uh, welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you a cool, cool uh, feature of mesh morpher which allows you to create uh, poses of, from uh, different meshes right so uh, this is inspired by uh, this uh, tutorial created by peter uh, peter shofaristov and uh, he's using blender uh, to transfer a, a bone position but uh, we can do this uh, with mesh morpher so let me uh, clean up a little bit the screen and uh, let's uh, get started right so i'm opening the base so uh, uh, character creator mesh and first i'm going to create from pose and i'm gonna save the bone snapshot we're gonna need this later right i'm gonna save this and uh, then i'm gonna open the slacker uh, mesh and uh, we want to convert base to morph base to slacker and uh, we want to morph the skeleton as well as the mesh data right so going to slacker create from pose and save on snapshot right we're gonna hit save and the next thing uh, we want to do is uh, to load the slacker bone snapshot and create a morph target from this, right? So we're going to name it base skeleton slacker. This way we know that uh, this is the morph target created from, uh, uh, from the bone snapshot, right? So I'm going to hit create morph target. And next thing uh, we want to do, now that uh, we have uh, the base skeleton slacker, we want to go to create from mesh wires and uh, select our base FBX. Gonna take a little bit. And then we're gonna select our slacker FBX, right? We're gonna call this like a no smoothing we don't need smoothing for this right and uh, we're gonna hit uh, create okay now uh, that this has been created let's save and next thing we want to do is to export these two morph targets since uh, we're gonna create another morph target uh which will hold the uh, deltas uh, between uh, these two right so we right click and export morph target as obj and uh, let me remove this so uh, confuse ourselves so this one is uh, base skeleton slacker we save it and then we uh, export the slacker morph target right export morph target as slacker we we'll go to slacker now that uh, we've uh, created uh, everything we need we can go to uh, poser load again uh, the slacker uh, bone snapshot and bake it this is the next thing we want to do once this is baked we need to create the morph target from these two files right from these two morph targets we need to import that so we're going to create from mesh files select base skeleton slacker which will be like our uh, current mesh and then we will select slacker obj which is the final uh, morph target right so this is uh, slacker pose this is what, uh, what we call it right we click create and then uh, we need to go back to poser 
for our uh, uh, base uh, skeletal mesh. Load back the base uh, bone snapshot and uh, bake it back. Right? We need the uh, we need uh, to have it in uh, its initial state back. Right? Okay, uh, now that uh, we have our uh, slacker pose, this is how it looks. Doesn't look too good, right? But uh, it's gonna look uh, much better. Let's close this. And now the next thing we want to do is uh, go to the slacker skeletal mesh and uh, assign the skeleton to base skeleton. We need the uh, we need them to share same skeleton so we can create the the pose asset, right? So we open base, uh, go to uh, the skeleton, select root. Uh, okay, we need to uh, go to these uh, settings here and uh, show retargeting options. A lot of stuff you see in this video is uh, already explained uh, in the Peter's uh, tutorial. I just uh, want to show you that uh, are uh, some steps uh, he he uh, was doing in his video can be done only with a uh, mesh mapper without uh, going back to Blender and stuff like that, right? So let's uh, click save and uh, let's create an asset and uh, we're gonna go for current pose and this is gonna be our pose asset pose asset pc4 okay we're gonna remove this and uh, we can save it and open slacker uh, skeletal mesh and we go to create asset Create pose asset, insert pose, and select our uh, pose asset uh, CC4, right? So if uh, we go back here, we're gonna see that uh, our mesh transforms already. The skeleton transforms, but we don't have the details uh, of the uh, slacker morph target. Uh, what uh, was the name uh, we gave to the morph target? It's Slacker Pose. So if uh, we rename Slacker Pose, it's gonna give us a warning. And now we have uh, Slacker Skeleton uh, Skeleton uh, as uh, end with the uh, with the mesh data, right? so we can uh, transform it uh you can select root here uh, press w to go to translation widget and just pull down this a little bit and now uh, everything is gonna be uh, better right okay i think uh, this might be it i hope we can save it and uh, this is it. This is how you can create a pose asset uh, between uh, uh, multiple meshes, right? You can you can have here as many poses as you want. I just showed you just uh, how to use pose assets between base and uh, another mesh, right? So yeah, see you around, guys. Bye.